Merry Christmas guys. In today's video, we're gonna be breaking down kind of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and some new Muck cards that just came out today in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody. I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Got some weekend gameplay for you now. If you are interested in my channel, basically what we do here is we post Madden 21 uh, tips and tricks videos every single day. So every day I post four videos, one at two o'clock, one at four o'clock, one at uh, six o'clock, and one at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you're looking to get better, go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so Mutt, Merry Christmas, Mutt Christmas is here, um, and basically what we're doing is we're breaking down some new cards. I got all of the new cards. Uh, I'll show you while we're in this. I'll show you my depth chart. Now, I'm not doing a theme team or anything crazy with that uh, yet. I probably should, but we got Michael Vick. We talked about how good he is with that 98 speed. He can get up to 99 if you use theme teams. I got the new Bo Jackson. Uh, I got the new Alvin Kamara, so really good players there. Uh, wide receivers, I got the new Moss, um, Dion and Allworth, and then I got the DeCastro here, uh, David DeCastro, and then on the defensive side, this is what I wanted to go over really quickly, we've got uh, DK Metcalf, Isaiah Simmons, Calvin Johnson, and then we also have Rod Woodson at the cornerback position, so our defense just got a lot better this weekend, um, and I'm going to go ahead Play some weekend league here and just going to break down kind of my thoughts and what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Now, I'm running trips tied in. Um, I'm actually running the play that I posted on my channel yesterday. So um, I'm going to probably be running this play the majority of the game. It's my favorite play um, in Madden 21. And uh, sometimes I do run into a little bit of issue with this. Now, when you're running this with Michael Vick, you have to flip the play, unfortunately. Otherwise, it won't work properly. Um, so you'll see. I'll, you know, and, and I might mix in some other plays, honestly, because I've literally been running this play like nonstop the last two days. This drive post play. A lot of people commented on the video and said I didn't run it very well. A primary reason why is because it's hard to show how good it is in practice mode. Um, once you get on the field, it works a lot better because the streak opens up against man coverage. The um, and then the obviously the ability to roll out with Michael Vick makes it so so powerful. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Uh, that's what we're breaking down. And you see here, I don't know what he's doing. Like a lot of a lot of adjustments here on his end. So I'll be interested to see how he defends us. But this is this is kind of uh, this is my New England Patriots offensive ebook. Um, now I'm only running like a small little portion of it uh, in this video. If you want to get the whole scheme, you can pick it up in the description. Um, you're just gonna see me run like a very very tiny little piece of it, uh, primarily just because um, I'm kind of trying to lab this play a little bit and make sure that I get the reads down from it. Um, when I'm trying to learn a new offense or a new play, uh, I'll go into a game and I'll literally run it every single play. So we got Deion Sanders with play. Maker, I think it's the best ability in the game right now, uh, other than Gunslinger, of course. Um, but basically, uh, when they raise the cap for Playmaker, it'll be interesting to see kind of how that changes the team uh, and what we do from that perspective. If he's not going to play hard flats, Bo Jackson, and that's crazy. You spent, I just spent like almost a million coins to get Bo Jackson all powered up and everything, and he can't break that tackle. <laughs> it just goes to show you that Mutt always levels it out. And he's using Pat Watkins. Uh, Pat Watkins has got uh, he's got a lot of really really good um, user ability with with his ratings. So you see here, and and the reason that I love this this streak right here is this forces him to base a line, right? That's what this does. It's going to force him to have to base a line, and then I can get out of the pocket here and get that route up to Taysom Hill on that delay fade. Now, Taysom Hill right now is the best tight end in the game, but next by the by the time next week rolls around, uh, everyone's going to be running Chris Cooley because he's going to get tight end apprentice for one AP. And because Vic doesn't get hot route master, you kind of need that. But you see, like, this play is just reads. Like, this this drive post play is just a beastly play. Like, in my opinion, it's, it's the best play in the game. Now, because he's running so much of what he's doing here with the base line, um, every now and then I'll just streak this slot. And, of course, I'm going to throw a pick. That's good D by him. That's just a bad read. The good part about Michael Vick is when you throw picks, it's hard for them to score because he so, he's so fast. Oh, that's just a bad read by me. Good D by him. All right, we're going to do 25 on the flats, 5 on the curl flats. 
And on defense, I'm running nickel 335. I actually got a lot of things I got to change here on my defense before we jump in here. I think I'm going to get rid of Chandler Jones, too. All right, I'm going to have to take a timeout because I don't know where everybody's supposed to go. Because I got the new Rod Woodson, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Isaiah Simmons and Deion Sanders on the outside. And then I'm going to put Rod Woodson in the slot. I've got Sean Taylor, Troy Vincent's going to play safety, and then DK Metcalf is going to come down, and he's going to play uh, linebacker for me. So I feel like this, I feel like truly this is like a really good defense, like a lineup wise. So he's going to run U trips. Um, I'm actually excited to play this. I've not played a lot of people that run this. So we'll kind of see what he does. And we, I don't understand. Oh, that's so irritating. That should have been an interception. Uh, DK Metcalf, like, instead of just picking the ball off as he is a wide receiver. Decides he's just going to swat it. Ah, crap. There we go. So if he runs a flood to the right, he kind of has it. But other than that, I feel pretty comfortable with this D. We'll see. Uh, give me that. Isaiah Simmons, nice D. Let's go get six. Ah, it's a bad stick. Okay. So I threw a pick. He threw a pick. I feel like my defense, like... If I can stop, I've always felt like this. If I could stop the run, I feel like I can. I I feel like my defense can adjust. If I can't stop the run, if someone comes out and runs on me, like I struggle against the run. So if you're watching this and we play, <laughs> that's kind of the scouting report. <laughs> run the ball. <laughs> All right, so he's going to do that. So I'm just going to motion him back across and leave him on the streak here. If he's not playing hard flats on this side. And now what this allows is you to roll out and Vic's just super, super fast. Like that's what Vic can do that like no other quarterback can do. But basically when the play breaks down, essentially you have a couple of options uh, that you can go to. All right. So when we see something like this, I'm thinking of actually running this play like this, where I it basically do this right here. I don't know why it wouldn't let me snap the ball there. That's Madden being Madden. They they like jack up the pre play so much. Like the the whole point about Madden is to make adjustments. And I feel like what we've seen over the last year is they basically want to prevent you from being able to make adjustments. <laughs> so it takes like a lot of the, in my opinion, there's a lot of skill gap that gets lost with that. Anyway, so he's showing pressure here off this left edge. So I got to look to the right side here quick. Um, and just kind of see what's going on. And he's going to give me the streak to Moss. And that's why Moss is like perfect for that position because he gets up there so quick. And we're going to be able to get seven. And that right there is just a product of, of you know, honestly, I think if he would have flipped his, if he has auto flip on, that might not be a touchdown right there. I can't remember if the safety, um, if the safety was on the right side of the field or not. So that's drive post, and that's the power of it is, like, it, it just has answers for all sorts of things people are going to do. The one issue that you can run into with it is sometimes, at least me, I can get a little bit greedy and throw interceptions on it, as you saw already. But All right, you trips. Let's try to just send heat on this. We'll just see how this works. This is... That's got to be an interception. Rod Woodson, and he drops it. Oh, my gosh. I spent so many coins on Rod Woodson. I need him to pick that off. This guy's not running U-trips the best. I'm going to send some man pressure at him here. I just got to watch the post route, basically. There we go. There we go. Now he's going to flip here. So right there, just I, I just think he's going to struggle. Like, when you understand, and part of this is, like, he, we run U-trips, so we kind of know what uh, what he can do. 
Now, if he if he gets his right and we're in man here, if he runs a specific play, he could have a pretty good read. But we don't. We'll see what he does. Blocks his guy. Hits me on the skinny post, and we get a really lucky anime. I don't know what happened on that. He kind of got screwed. That was actually a really good play call by him. He kind of got screwed on that one, but we'll take it. Like, he called the right play is what I'm saying. So, good job by him. But we're going to get the ball back here. Second quarter. Now, he gets ball at halftime, so we really need to score here. We need at least a field goal um, to get that two-possession advantage. Let's go, Dion. Oh, that didn't work. That did not work at all. I was trying to. I was trying to. Uh, if he would have clicked onto him, it would have worked. But he didn't click onto him, so it didn't work. All right, drive post, drive post, drive post. I'm telling you guys, like, I think it's hard to stop. Like, especially if you can read. Like, see, and then they do stuff like this. When they start doing stuff like this, this is where this becomes really, really difficult to stop, in my opinion. Because now he's got to make all these adjustments. Bo Jackson, I need you to get off that tackle. Who is that out there? 21. I don't know who that is. So here he's flipping his play. And that's that right there, that play right that route right there is like the backbreaker route. That's the route that they have to put so much energy into covering the underneath middle that that post route should be open pretty much every time. You just got mossed. Nice play, buddy. And then that little quick streak. Like, that quick streak can be tough to guard, too. Like, it's just a lot to handle in one play. No, oh, there. And Vic, Vic, I'm trying to throw it away, and Vic just completely f flipped out. I was holding right trigger, and I, like, accidentally, I think I accidentally let go of it. But drive post is just a matter of making reads. And then what's going to happen is, like, if I wanted to, I could motion over, um, you know, do some different things as well. We'll flex that running back out into a five wide. And now we got to get out of the pocket. Now, this is where it becomes just tough. Like, when you get out of the pocket on this play, like, what you're doing is you're basically making an initial read, right? You're going to see if you can hit one of the streaks or you can hit that little dig route quick. And then if it's not there, your job is to – you've got to get out of the pocket and you've got to roll out because what that's going to do when you get out of the pocket is when it's going to really be given dangerous because you're going to be able to, to really give them a lot of stress here. But just a quick read on that streak – and then I got to get out, get out, get out. And Lance Allworth lets the ball go right through his hands. Like, I really love the, I just love this play. I love the way it works. And the good part is about it, I don't think 20-yard flats can stop it. We're going to smart route it out right here. And then, like, they forget about Michael Vick, and you can – that's the cool part is, you know, if they forget about Michael Vick, it's like a quick it's, – it's like an automatic couple yards. Right here, we just haven't really ran this play yet, so I'm going to try to kind of – I love how it looks the same, too, like you motion out. You know, he's got to put so much energy into stopping all that stuff over there, and then you have a chance to just power it with Bo. The key right here is to get out of the pocket and let Vic do some magic. And right here, we'll run a little little, little bit of clock here. Uh, we're going to try to let our guys kind of refresh a little bit. 
and I'm going to run the ball just because I want to um, I want to let some clock go. And honestly, what we'll probably do is let it go a little bit and then take a timeout so everybody's fresh. We can come out and then we can make a make a read here. We have the ball in the five, so you know you're you're not necessarily in like must run the ball territory. Second and goal. Um, we'll just stick with we'll stick with drive post just because I want to see this play be successful. Down in the red zone, it's a little bit tighter. Um, especially when he's doing stuff like this right here. We're just going to run the bubble. And Bo almost gets in here. Hurry up. We're going to run it one more time. Just kind of try to catch him here. Trying to catch him, trying to catch him, trying to catch him. And we do. We're able to get him. That's huge. That's a huge touchdown. So right there, we're just trying to – you know, basically what we were going to do is we were going to give a look and see what he was doing. What is this front doing, right? Is he Is he vulnerable to the inside zone or not? And both times he was very vulnerable to it. He wasn't really setting up anything to stop it. He was kind of relying on his inside stuff ability to be able to stop, which it almost did. But all in all, it ended up not doing it. So we're able to get out in front really nicely here. Um, and basically our job is on defense to – if he goes down and gets three, like that's good for him. That's not a huge deal. Uh, we just can't give up like any bombs. That's kind of the key. So – So yeah, we're just gonna run like cover three. Mabel on the on the on the trip side. Try to get him to kind of. And he almost. I, I feel like if I was in his shoes, if he was if he was right handed, like if he was rolling out and that was a right handed quarterback, I bet you he would have thrown the ball. So there we go. There's our adjustments. We're running. Just a basic, uh, we don't really have to, I don't feel like I have to worry too much about anything on that right side. A corner route. Of course, as I say, as soon as I say that, I get bought, get dotted. Also, I've, if you notice this guy's running um, Jonu Smith, can someone please communicate to me why are so many people running this card in the comments? If you guys know, let me know. I'd like to hear it. And Fuller, does he get it? That's got to be a pick. And this is what I'm talking about. But you can't adjust. Like, it's such a glitchy adjustment. It's just ridiculous. Like, they, they don't let you adjust the ball. And DK Metcalf drops another interception. So I feel like we've really... I feel like I feel pretty decent against passers. Like, um, and maybe it's just because I haven't played a lot of great ones yet today, but I feel pretty good against passers. It's really runners that just scare me because I think it's just like you get randomness. You get a lot of randomness when you run the ball. Can are you kidding me? We gave up a, like, it's because we have these on 25 and not 20. Dang it. That's a huge field goal. That's so frustrating, though. And we get lucky. He makes it. Of course he does. Man, we that's just bad. Um, that's just me messing up with my adjustments. I thought normally you that's why you want to have the, the coaching adjustments on 20. Because if not, they can hit that route on rollout. Um, real quick, if you guys want to get a sample of my New England offensive ebook, uh, the ebook has over 300 pages with over 36 formations broken down in depth and um, over 10 hours of video content. So if you want to get that uh, material, just shoot me a text message and I can shoot you a sample uh, for it. My number's in the top left hand corner. It's 812 216 3644. So here we're going to dial up some pressure. And he's got the post. That was probably just that was just really bad defense by me. That was not a great play call. If you're gonna if you're gonna blitz out of U, blitz U trips, in my opinion, you definitely want to do it from uh, uh, from man. And blocked the running back. 
Ooh, Rod Woodson just got burned. Dang, I don't know what happened to Rod Woodson. Did we? Did we? If we if we forgot to shade coverage over top, that makes sense. So all of a sudden we got a ball game here. I mean he's right back into the mix here. We've got to we've got to adjust a little bit. Um. Um. Let's see how this defense works. I don't know. I, I'm not. I don't feel great in the red zone this year. And that's why. Like Rod Woodson's in a twenty-yard cloud flat. Like he should be back there on that, in my opinion. I guess. It, I guess it just gets you. Get, you get some of that stuff in the back of the end zone. Just kind of glitches out the coverages. I'm almost thinking like it's worth it to just. I just think man might be better to go to. I don't know. My I just don't feel good in the red zone def defensively right now. So he's running nickel three through five odd, which his pressure is not going to get home. But if it, if he does send it. Roll out. I think I feel like that was a dot. I feel like that was a dot. Ooh, I feel like that was a dot. <sighs> All right, we gotta settle in here. The key is this streak to the back out of the backfield, in my opinion. This backfield, um. Man, I really wish that that could. I really wish that could work against man, but it just doesn't. All right. See, now it's like he's he's always going to have to choose in that level scenario. So, and that's why levels is like my favorite play to run, um, or my favorite like my favorite play to call, because he's always going to have to have a, ch a quick choice. Now I'm just looking at that linebacker on the right. If he comes, nope. So we roll out. And there's that playmaker ability. That's like the cool part is that's not even having to use the tight end. Like, but if they're base aligned, you obviously have an advantage to the trip side. So you just want to kind of stay with that. And if they're not going to spy, you got 98 speed Vic for a reason. You got 98 speed escape artist Vic for a reason, right? Might as well use him. Put Moss on a fade this time. Oh, I'm throwing it. I'm throwing it. Dang it. I messed up. Didn't release my guy. Shoot, I messed up. That's a huge sack. That's a huge, huge sack. All right, here we go. Dang it. That's the one problem. With, that's the one thing that I feel like this play could be a little bit weak against when they give you something like that. So if he gets a stop here, even if we score three, like it's not great. We're not in a good position here just because of how he's been playing. And everyone is fatigued, which is unfortunate. Right here, you got to think uh, Chris Cooley is going to be wide open. Get ourselves in a pretty good situation. So this is an interesting, interesting decision to make because if we give him the ball back, like this is kind of a tough call. Like, do you go for three? Because you're technically only up one possession. You're not going to be up two possessions, right? So because of that, I'm going to go for this, or at least give it a look, kind of see what he's doing. The one thing I don't, and what I'm going to do, actually, we'll do that little curl. And Michael Vick just throws a beam. That's huge. That's where that curl can come in handy on the backside. Like if they start playing, um, if they start playing like really, really good against the streak, where they're like, you know, either deep halfing or they're they're putting the safety on the streak. Because really, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get them to put that safety on the streak side, and then at the right time you'll streak that tight end. You know, eventually I do a little seam read with him. The seam read to the tight end is really good too. Like 
for situations, uh, for certain situations, you want to streak the tight end to kind of mix that in. But when they start playing disciplined defense on the streak, you should be able to easily just curl him. Um, and he's just going to sit, basically, which is nice. Like right here, like if the safety rolls, um, if the safety rolls to the left side, that's where like this could look, this could look really nicely. See how the safety comes down, and we'll throw that away. Now, what the other thing that you have to remember um, is he is doing a lot of like what what drive post is gonna, and this is where like. I've only ran one play the whole game, right? So it's kind of all my, kind of a little bit of my own fault. But this is where drive post, I think, could really become come in handy. Um, is in a situation like what we were about to see right here, where basically you can create different types of floods, right? Ah, dang it! Okay. Enough messing around here with that. We'll put our curl out here. Now, we'll be in kind of the same predicament, but um, we'll see what happens. That was kind of a risky throw. All right, we'll just take our field goal here. But we did take a lot more clock, which could be a bad thing, actually. Um, we have three timeouts, so, so it's not we're not in a bad spot. I just wish we would have... We just took we took a really bad sack. We were we were freestyling a little bit too much out of this play. And the one thing we did not do a good job of, like once you start, f the key with this play is to not fall in love with the rollout. I'll tend to fall in love with the rollout a little bit too. If you don't fall in with the ro fall in love with the rollout, like um, it can actually be really good. Okay, right here we're gonna do kind of a interesting defense. I don't know if this will work or not, but we're gonna basically play like corner routes. But really, I'm gonna take the underneath. And to me, that should have been a fumble. To me, that should have been a fumble. But honestly, when I play Vic, I feel like it's smarter to like do something like this. Now we gotta have that Mabel. That's gotta be a pick. DK Metcalf. Oh my goodness. We've dropped so many interceptions this game. All right, we're just running like a basic maple coverage. We probably honestly shouldn't do that. We should let's do this. Okay, that's not bad. We just got to d up for one. We just got to get like one stop, and I feel like we've been close all game. All right. Good check down. Good check down. All right, so I got to take away the middle of the field. Everything else is going to be bagged, pretty much. Anything to the outside should be stopped. I don't know how he keeps hitting that route. I really don't. DK Metcalf has, like, really let me down this game. Like, really, really let me down. All right, we're going to be – this is actually a really risky play call. We're playing coverage, so if he runs a post route, i got to take the post route, but everything else should be taken. There was another streak to Deion Sanders. I don't know why he's getting so open on that streak. Rod Woodson has just as much speed as him. I'm going to run the same play. This time, I, I just don't, I don't know why he's, he should not be getting beat on this streak. I'm shading coverage up. And Rod Woodson makes the play of the game. That's why I just let him do his thing. I feel like the click on can get kind of kind of wonky. 
That's a huge play by Rod Woodson. This has been a really good game. I think you guys probably have learned some good things, some bad things from this, um, or some learn from some of the things I've done right, some of the things I've done wrong. Hopefully, you enjoy seeing the new cards uh, right here. We just need a we just need a first down. And he's blitzing everybody. That's where that bubble. That's why I love having that bubble screen. I should not have ran out of bounds. That's probably the dumbest thing I could have done. Dang it! I should not have ran out of bounds. But the thing is, like, if you mix, if you if you can, you could do something like this from drive post. Like, um, you could have a curl here, right? You could have your delay fade, and then you could even take your running back and instead of putting him on a streak, putting him on a flat to the right side to pull those flat zones out of the way, and then that's going to let you hit that route. Like, it'll be much more wide open. But when you do that, make sure that you have a streak because you need that to pull everything. That was, that was a really risky play call. But yeah, um, the ebook, like I said, the, the, the defensive ebook is also in the description if you want to get the defense. I think the defense has actually been playing really, really well lately. Um, but yeah, if you want to get the defense, it's in the description. If you want to get the offense, it's in the description. Uh, if you would like a sample formation from the offensive ebook, just shoot me a text message. Um, I have the U trips that he was running. Um, I have a, f that's one of the sample formations from the ebook. So if you want to get that, um, it shows you that sample formation will show you a one play touchdown against every single coverage in the game, uh, which is kind of, kind of cool. Anyway, that's, that's the read right there that I think makes this play so good. Like when they run press man, when they run stuff like that, you can hit them, uh, with this, with this play here. And the key is when you're running the delay fade, I think to flex out that back if you want to run a streak on the right. And to me, that's the route, man. That's that's the money route. But thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We've got more videos coming. Also, I am going to be live streaming today, um, uh, weekend league gameplay. So if you want to catch more action with the new cards, Come by the stream. I'm going to start today's stream probably, I was thinking 1 o'clock, but I might do a little bit later. Uh, but we'll be we'll be live this afternoon. So uh, if you're not on the Discord, the Discord will know when you go live. So thanks for watching. The Discord link's in the description. We'll see you in a little bit.